Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. A victorious hallelujah. Hallelujah. A thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A grateful hallelujah. Hallelujah. To the King of glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah. To the ancients of days, hallelujah. Hallelujah. To the Lamb that was slain for our sin, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I would like to read the. Um, Psalm 103 before we the Bible makes us to understand that we we'll bless the Lord at all time. He said, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He said, Who forgives all thy iniquity? Who healeth all thy diseases? Who redeemeth thy life from destruction? Who crowned thee with loving kindness and turned the mercy? Who satisfied thy mouth with good things so that thy youth will be renewed like the eagles? The Bible also makes us understand that in the book of Psalm, same Psalm 102, the Bible makes us understand in the 13th verse. It said, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yeah, the set time is come. This is our month of reward. And we'll be telling God that, God, this is the time to favor me. So if you know that God is going to favor you this month, I want you to open up your heart. Open the channel of your spirit as we welcome the King of glory. As we welcome the man of war, the ancient of days, the lily of the valley. Bani Banitan, Saya, Ayikojo, Ikuda, Ukoidile, Jesse. Ah, Father, we worship you. Lade Moza Tinda Imakadosa. Father, we worship you. King of glory, we worship you. King of glory, we worship you. I am that I am the one who was slain. Eladosa Imananeke Laduzi Timalos. Father, we worship you. We welcome you, God, into our midst this evening, O God. We crown you, King of glory. We crown you, Lord of Lords. We crown you, I am that I am. Bani Bani Lord Joy Shuru. Eleti Karapi Ajere Ebijeji Ako Farati Yoke. Bani Bani Lord Joy Shuru. We worship you. Open the channel of your spirit to worship our God. Father, we worship you. We worship you the same in the name of Jesus. Abba, Father, we glorify your name. There is no one like you. There is no one like you. I call you my mountain moving God. I glorify your name. There is no one like you. There is no one. The Bible makes us understand that all that men will praise the Lord for his goodness to, 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 our, to mankind. Let us worship the Lord. Let us exalt. He's our Father. He's our Heavenly Father. Oh, there is no one like you. Oh, there is no say about Father. Oh, my life is not like you. What is what is what is what is the Lamb that was slain?
I search all over the world, Baba. Eh, there is no one like you. Master Jesus, Hallelujah. I welcome us all to this service of this evening, and I pray that as you join this service, God will visit you like never before in the name of Jesus. Amen. It's our month of reward, and the reward is an evidence that we have done something that requires return, either positive or negative, but yours shall be positive in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All through the many months of this year, from July to December, God will reward you for all your efforts in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is worthy of praise that God has preserved us for the last six months. And you all agree with me that God has been so faithful in all dealings, in every area, in every aspect, in terms of our going out and our coming in. However, on, in this regard, we need to give thanks to God for his faithfulness. So why not join me sing this song? Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All that I have been that thy hand has provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord unto thee. Oh, great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning, new mercies I see, all I have needed, thy hands has provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Has God been indeed faithful unto you? Yes. Check within yourself. Has God been faithful to you in the last six months? Has God been there for you in every area of your life? However, if you think that is true, why not sing the song again? God is so faithful. He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of all adoration. Father, we thank you. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, 
morning by morning new mercies I see all I have needed I have has provided great is thy faithfulness Lord unto me Psalm 72 verse 18 Psalm 72 verse 18 says, Blessed be God, blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who only doeth wondrous things. Who only doeth wondrous things. Have you been partaker of God's wondrous acts from January to June? Have you believed in God for any act of God in the remaining days of this year? God is the only one that can do it. If you think you have lost anything since the year began, God is still the reason why you have not lost everything. If you think you have received anything from God, God is still telling you that a lot is more, much more coming in the course of the year. Praise the Lord. Psalm 68 verse 19 says, Blessed be the Lord, who daily loadeth us with benefits, even the God of our salvation. Praise the Lord. Psalm 66 again verse 20 says, Blessed be God, which hath not turned away my prayer, nor is mercy from me. Why not open your mouth this hour and begin to appreciate God? For all his wondrous works, for all his mighty acts, for his goodness and for his mercy, God has kept us January, February, March, April, May, June. This is July. God has been so faithful. He has remained committed to his word. He is not a man that lies, not that he is a son of man that repents of his pronouncement. Father, we appreciate you. As a church, we thank you for your mighty acts, for your strange works in our midst. For taking us this far, Lord, it has been you. Lord, we thank you. It is not by our own manipulations. It is not by our own ideology. It is not because we know how to plan or how to go about our daily dealings. It is by your mercy that we are not consumed. Many have died. Many are in the hospital. Many are already in the mortuary. Many are in the prison yard. Father, here we are giving glory to your name. Lord, we thank you. All adoration, all glory be unto you, O God. In Jesus' name we are giving thanks. For in Jesus' name we are giving thanks. The book of Psalm 105, verse 10 to 15, says, When they went from one nation to another, from one kingdom to another people, verse 14, he suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reprimanded kings for their sakes. 15, saying, Touch not my anointed, and do my prophet no harm. Why not begin to thank God for his mighty act upon your life? For his hand of protection, for his safety, to and fro. You have probably used the air, you have fly through the air, you have fly through the sea, or you have fly through used the sea, you have used the land. God has preserved you. Is the reason why you are not consumed. It is the shield over you. It is the protection around you. Father, we thank you for your hand that is mighty, for your hand of protection, for safety, to and fro, from morning to night. Lord, we magnify your holy name. We give you thanks for what you have done, for what you are doing, and for what you will still do. Father, we magnify you. Blessed be your name, O God. Blessed be your name, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. For the last six months, Lord, we thank you. For the half past six months that we are enjoying, Lord, we give you praise. As a church, we thank you for peace and serenity, for your shield over our children, for joy unspeakable, for our jobs and our businesses, for our career, for our parents, for our siblings, for all our loved ones. Lord, we say thank you. Blessed be your name, O God. Blessed be your name, O God. Blessed be your name, O Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. We worship you. In Jesus' name, we are giving thanks. In Jesus' name, we are giving thanks. Amen. There is no amount of thanks that we can render to God that will be enough. God requires that we praise Him at all times. He requires, it requires us to give Him thanks at all times, whether good or bad. And we are sure that God is always be full of good yes. and never do evil. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Why not open your mouth again and begin to say, Father, I thank you Lord, for what I said to receive from you this hour, yes. for what you have for, for the plans you have for me this hour. Lord, I thank you. Because anytime you call us, you have called us to bless us. Lord, I thank you. The Bible says he has not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. Thank you, Father, because I will not leave your presence empty this hour. Lord, I thank you for what you have in stock for me. Lord, I thank you for what you are said to do. Blessed be your name, O God. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Blessed be your name, O God. 
For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. We shall be praying this service. Father, Father, as I proceed in the remaining days of this year, as I proceed in the remaining Lord, days of let this me year, encounter you in a new Lord, dimension. Let me encounter, let me encounter, encounter you in a new dimension. Let this new six, the next six months of this year, oh Lord, let, let me have a, a record of outstanding testimony, dumbfounding testimonies in, in every area of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I decree and I declare that in the remaining days of this year, only goodness and mercy is permitted to follow me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I will never have a better tax six months. I will not recall a better tax six months. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, better is the end of a matter than the beginning thereof. My next six months shall be better my last six months. In the name of Jesus. My next six months, all the way from July to December, shall be better for me. More than where I started from, from January. Jesus, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Things that uh, eyes have not uh, seen, things that ears have not heard, uh, shall be the order of the day for me and my family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shall be the order of the day for me and my entire household. In the name of Jesus Christ. I refuse to have a better last six months. I refuse to have a better last year. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every day shall be Christmas for me. Every day shall be Christmas for me. I shall be celebrating like now, like Christmas. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, eternal Lord of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. Hallelujah. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. During the last uh, uh, prayer and fasting, we pray about so many points: protection, safety, divine health, and prosperity. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that shall be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Whatever you have asked God for, whatever you have believed God for. God will give unto you the way you never expected in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Your health shall be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You shall record dumbfounding prosperity in Amen. the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Outstanding testimony shall be your testimony Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We shall be saying, Father, Father, I pray for divine health I pray for divine in the remaining health. days of this year. In the, in the name of Jesus Christ, the from the strand of, of my head to the sole of my feet, I record outstanding health. sound health in the name of Jesus Christ. Sound health shall be my portion and that of my entire household in the name of Jesus Christ. As my days are so my so shall my strength be in the name of Jesus Christ. As my days so shall my strength in the name of Jesus Christ. I refuse to be weak. I refuse to be cast the down in the name of Jesus Christ from the, the strand of, of my hair, my 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 body, power, my bones, victory, my marrows, my blood, my veins, everything shall Lord work Jesus. together according to your plan and purpose us, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that cannot hold Jesus down can never hold me down in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is manifesting my body that is not in the body of Christ, I cast them out today in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is not in Christ that is manifesting my body by the power in in the name Lord of Jesus, Jesus Christ. We do they are dying in the name of Jesus Christ. Are. They are dying in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Which I pray in it. Father. Father, I decree in the name of Jesus Christ that whatever Jesus, I lay my hands to do in the remaining days of this year shall prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Nothing shall die in my hands. My business will not die. My career will not die. My children will not die. My jobs will not die. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything I lay my hands to do shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I shall recover prosperity like never before in the name of Jesus Christ. People that know me before, we know that I have met with the God that answers prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be for me and my entire household. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Acts chapter 35 verse 27. Sorry, Psalm 35 27. Say, let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, let God be magnified, which had pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, Father, as I proceed in the year 2022, as I proceed in the year 2022, when others are drying up, 
when other businesses are drying up, when other when other businesses are closing down, I shall be recording outstanding testimony. I shall be moving forward. I shall be flourishing. I will not die. If my business will not die, in the name of Jesus Christ, when others are saying that they're casting down, even in the midst of this economic holocaust, I shall be progressing in the name of Jesus Christ. Even when others are saying business are melting down, my shall be moving forward in the name of Jesus Christ. When people are being laid off from job, I shall be recording promotions in the name of Jesus Christ. My shall be promotion in the name of Jesus Christ. My shall be promotion in the name of Jesus Christ. I move from strength to strength. I move from glory to glory in the name of Jesus Christ. That shall be my testimony. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Exodus 23, 25 said, and ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread and thy water, and I will take away sickness from the midst of thee. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We shall be saying, Father, Father as I serve you, as I serve the interest of the kingdom, I shall serve the interest throughout, of the the year 2022, throughout the year 2022, and beyond, and beyond I shall never lack bread and water on my I table. Shall never in the bread name of Jesus Christ, I shall, I shall, I, as I serve Lord the Jesus interest of the kingdom, I, serve you diligently. I will not lack bread and water on my table. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will not run out of ideas. Ideas that will fall you to my next level. I will not run out of ideas in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, as I serve the interest of the kingdom, as I serve you in truth and in spirit, Lord, everything we continue to work together for my good. I will not lack bread and water on my table in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. We also have a way of, I mean, we also pray about our country, Nigeria. Our nation is our Jerusalem. There's no other place. Until you get that visa to that your desired country, you are seeing Nigeria. Hello. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We shall be saying, Father, Father, pass through Nigeria. Pass through Nigeria. Restore the glory of this nation. Restore the in glory the name of, of Jesus Christ. Christ. Restore the glory of this nation. Oh Lord, Nigeria. pass through this nation. Through Let Nigeria. every plan of the wicked for Nigeria be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the glory of Nigeria be restored. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the glory of this nation Nigeria be restored. In the name of Jesus, let the glory of Nigeria be restored. In the name of Jesus Christ, for in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. As much as we are gearing up for the next election, we are preparing, getting PVC and relax. Except the Lord build the house, the labor he will that build it. Except we pray that God give us that our desire of state or our president. We may God not do the same mistake. Let's commit the next election to the hand of God that God should choose for us. Yes. God choose for Nigeria. God In the interest Nigeria. of the saints, yes. oh God choose for Nigeria. Choose for Nigeria. Father Nigeria. choose for Nigeria. We, we, we don't want to make mistakes like before. Nigeria. Oh Lord choose Jesus. our leader for us. Jesus. From the top, oh Lord, oh Lord to our local government council leaders. Lord choose for us. Oh Lord choose for us. In the name of Jesus Christ, the grace to choose wisely, the wisdom to choose wisely, Lord give unto us. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord choose for Nigeria. In the name of Jesus Christ, that leader of your choice, that man, that woman that will take us to our next level, oh God choose for us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we don't want to do the mistake we have made in the past. Oh God choose for us. Choose for Nigeria, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, for in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That however, commit the, the six geopolitical zone into the hand of God from the south, east, south, south, southwest, north, east, northwest, and north central. That God will visit all these local localities. Amen. God will visit them Amen. and restore peace and orderliness in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, visit the six geopolitical of Nigeria. Visit all the four corners of this nation. Let your peace be restored. Let your peace, oh God, be restored. Restore peace in the east. Restore peace in the west. Restore peace in the north. Restore peace, oh God, in the south. In the name of Jesus Christ. Restore peace, oh God. Restore peace, oh God. Restore peace, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' name we pray. For in Jesus' name we pray. And lastly, we commit the house of the church of God to the of God, that the God, church of God will continually move forward. Amen. There shall be no diminishing. Amen. We shall continue to increase in size. Amen. We shall multiply in size. Amen. We shall increase all in stature. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And the anointing of God upon this church 
will not go down Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we commit your house unto your hand, divine Christian divine assembly Christian worldwide. Assembly Father, you pray, God. we pray, oh God, that, that the anointing of church all this stuff will not go down forward. in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we shall move forward in the name of Jesus Christ. Nothing, oh God, will stop the church of God from moving in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for progress. We pray for increase. We pray for multiplication in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray for all the servants in this church for the leadership of the assembly worldwide. Father, you strengthen them. You anoint them. You strengthen them, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. We preserve their going out. We preserve their coming in. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for any time we call upon you, answer us. To you alone be all the praise. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. As we have declared, as we have decreed, so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. That thing you are believing God for, God will give you to your hand as a testimony. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Those prayer points that you are praying in secret, God will bring them to the open Amen. by virtue of your testimony. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. All the glory must be to the Lord, for He is worthy of our praise. No man on earth should give glory to Himself. All the glory must be to the Lord. Join me, sing it this evening. All the glory must be to the Lord. To the Lord. For He is worthy of our praise. No man, no man on earth should give glory from January to February to March to April to May to June and then July let's sing it like people who mean it join me in your houses in the car in your homes join me in your shops sing it with me this evening no man or Hallelujah. Praise God. We are so grateful that the Lord has brought us from January even to this present moment. This is not a cliche. We are grateful. Like the Yoruba speaking people will say, Entoba Monuro, Amokpeda, Amokpedu, or Amokpeda. We are grateful because He has brought us. It is not because we know how to wake up to our alarms, it is not because we know how to set alarms and wake up to a particular time. We are grateful because he keeps waking us up each, each moment, each day. He has reposed confidence on us again to make us see another month. And for this reason, we say thank you. We say thank you, Jesus. Lord, we invite you into this teaching this evening. We ask that, Lord, you take over this teaching. We ask that everyone tuned in right now and later would get the message that you want them to get from this teaching. We ask that the breath of life is being breathed into this teaching in the name of Jesus. Amen. We ask that you take over this moment. We ask that, Lord Jesus, every word that will be spoken, we find practical manifestation in the lives of everyone that would hear today. Amen. Let the hearers be blessed. Let Amen. the doers be more blessed Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' precious and victorious name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. I welcome you all to July. It is our month of reward. It is the seventh month. And the number seven is connotes perfection. I am very excited because it is the seventh month of the year 2022. And it is also the beginning of the second half of this year. 
It is a perfect month and a new beginning. I want you to repeat and say, it is a new beginning for me. It is a new beginning for me. Yes. If you listen to our teaching last week, we talked about appraisal, about the unfair advantage. And then our pastor started off talking about the appraisal that happens in each organization. The first six months of the year, your achievements will be reeled out. Have you done well? Have you not done well? But I'm bringing a message of hope today, telling you that it is not too late for God to do anything in your life. It is not too late for him to start that which he has promised you. It is not too late for him. Praise God. Hallelujah. I would like us to come with me and not lose me at any point because I'll be taking you on a journey today on activating the reward. Activating the reward. Yes, it is our month of reward. And reward comes in various means. It comes as punishment and it comes as positive reward. But ours will be positive in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to show us today how to activate the reward. This reward that the Lord has promised us in his word. I want to show us how to activate it. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 7 verse 11. That if you, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children. How much more will your father give you good things that you ask of him. Or that he has promised you. And I want to add to that scripture saying, and to those who know how to activate these gifts, he, he, he promises to give you those gifts in the name of the Lord Jesus. If our parents here on earth, if our bosses that we term wicked and insensitive know how to give you your reward when it is time, they know how to give you your promotion when it is due, your company knows that it is time to upgrade you, it is time to promote you, how much more our Father who is good and merciful, how much more will he give to us our reward? And I decree that everyone listening today will get their reward in due season in the name of Jesus. Amen. God is not unjust. He will reward us in his righteousness. He will reward us in his righteousness. Our anchor scripture for today. I would like to take our anchor scripture for today from Revelation 22 verse 12. He says, and behold, I come quickly. Another translation says, I am coming quickly. And my reward is with me. To give every man according to his work. Please don't lose me at any point. I'm taking you on a journey. And I pray you'll be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. The word in Revelation, Revelation 22 verse 12 says, Behold, I come quickly. And my reward is with me to give every man, every woman, according to his work. The A part of that scripture says that he is coming quickly. It means some of our rewards will be enjoyed here on earth and thereafter and the life thereafter when we catch up with Christ in the sky. Hallelujah. Lord. The B part of it says every man will get a reward be it negative or positively i don't know where people get the belief where nobody will, will, will get a negative reward because even our children when they act in, in 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 a way that is not pleasing when we see that this behavior is is not right we give them good spanking or we place them under punishment how much more god it means that god is diligently looking for those who he will reward bountifully according to their works. According to their works. According to their works. And I pray that you will do a good work for the Lord that you serve in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that he would reward every man and every woman according to their works. The Bible also says that faith without works is dead. And that is the direction I want to go to today. Not because you, you have not earned your salvation by the work you do know. It is a gift that he gave to us. 
It is the gift, the free gift he has given to us. But with this gift, he is expecting you to do a work with it. And it is that work that, need, that, that would get or that would attract or that would activate that reward. Praise God. I would like us to come with me now because I would like to talk about the five ways you can activate the reward in your life. The number one way is to see it. Number two is to think it. I will let you in on what I'm talking about. Number three is to say it. Number four is to do it. And number five is to stand on it. Yet, earlier this week, in our Sunday service, we were taught extensively on faith extensively on activating our faith and because we are in the new testament the new covenant our faith is a lifestyle it is no more what is imputed on us in a moment it has become a lifestyle we walk in faith because the bible says the just shall live by faith we walk in this faith so right now the number one way you can activate this reward is by seeing it. And what do I mean by seeing it? The Bible in Romans 15 verse 5, it says, through the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. Everything starts with the word of God. As I read the word of God, the scripture encourages me and gives me a hope for a different life. The difference between two sick people on a sick bed, it is one person that has accepted faith that no, this verdict that has been given to me by the doctors is going to happen to me and the person is going to die. If you see that person, the person is looking dejected, sorrowful, has probably even started losing weight, seriously. The difference between that person and someone who is hopeful the person who is hopeful has a spring in his steps. He's confident. He's hopeful. And that is what the word of God gives us. The word of God gives hope to us because it sheds light to our dark areas. It sheds light to our lives. And in darkness, there is death. But in light, there is life. And in life, there is hope for tomorrow. Praise God. Hallelujah. Reading the word of the Lord allows us to see that the world is not what we see physically. It allows us to see the world through the word of God. Hope enters into our heart as we read the scriptures because faith is the substance of the things that is hoped for. It is the evidence of things that are not seen. So number one way to activate your reward, because a life of faith has its reward. I would read to us later in my teaching the reward for walking and living by faith. The number one way to activate your reward is seeing it. When you read the word of God, you see it. And number two way we can activate the word of the, 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 our reward is by thinking on this word. The Bible in Joshua 1 verse 8 says, This book of the Lord shall not depart from my mouth, but I will meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then, he will, it will make your ways, you will make your way prosperous, and then you would have good success. I don't know how many of us have observed cows and goats. They are called ruminant animals because they have four stomachs. When you see them grazing, they just eat all the grass. They eat everything and gather it. That is how the scripture is when we first read it. That is how the scripture is when we first take it in the morning. We read it and we take it in like ruminant animals. Have we also observed that in their quiet space, where they are not busy running around with the head, they sit down and regurgitate. 
they bring out all the grasses, some of the grasses. They bring it out bit by bit. And then they chew it very well. They chew it first of all with their tongue, with their teeth, and with their mouth. All the saliva inside of their mouth and return it back. They grind it to the barest minimum, ensuring that all of their flesh, all of their sinews, all of their muscles get the nourishment out of that grass. This is what thinking on the word of God does to us. And this is the way to activate the reward. Praise God. Just reading the word of God is not enough. God instructed Joshua that he should read it. He should meditate on it. He should meditate on it. Act on it. Chew it over and over and over again. Before going into your stomach. Because by chewing it to the barest minimum, it catches your spirit. You get the remnant out of the word of God. And by then, the word of God finds meaning in your life. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. And after that, you say it. Remember, I gave us five ways that we can activate the word of God. Activate our reward. We have to say it. Hebrews 10 Verse 23 says, Let us hold fast the confessions of our hope without wavering. For he who promised is faithful. For he who promised is faithful. Faith has a language. Faith has a language. And the language of faith is the word of God. The language of faith is the word of God. We speak the word. We eat the word. We live the word. That way we activate the reward that I will be reeling out later. Praise God. Hallelujah. We need to hold fast to our confession. Because the devil will do all that he can to cause you to speak doubt and unbelief. Ah, if it is by Nigeria, we are all supposed to be saying... It's in fact, we are supposed to be speaking negative words. But faith doesn't speak what it sees. It speaks what is to come. It speaks things that are unseen. It speaks things that are unseen. And have you ever wondered that these secular artists, they sing and like, Momalo, wo, Momalo, and then all of a sudden, whatever they are confessing is coming to them. Whatever you say, you attract. Whatever you say, you attract. Whatever you say, you attract. So I decree this moment that our confessions become positive according to the word of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Number four way is by doing it. Activating the reward. Doing it. Hebrews 11 verse 8 says, by faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called out to go to a place that he was to receive as an inheritance. And he went out, not knowing where he was going. Not knowing where he was going. God is calling you to buy that baby cloth. He's calling you to buy that shirt in anticipation for that interview call. He's calling you out to start that business. He's calling you out to start that blog. He's calling you out to start that podcast. He's calling you out to make that phone call in obedience. Because there is reward in obeying by faith. He's expecting you to take that bold step just like Peter did and he came out of the boat and said, Lord, call me. And he started to walk on water. He's expecting us to make that bold step and do it. He's expecting us to do it because there is a bountiful reward for the doers. There is a bountiful reward for the doers. But you cannot do if you haven't said it, if you haven't thought it, if you haven't seen it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are also called to activate the reward in this month and beyond, by standing on the promises of God, by standing on it. In hope, according to Romans 4 verse 18, in hope, 
he believed against hope that he should become the father of many nations. For heaven's sake, his body was dead. His wife's body was passed, as he had been told. Standing on the word involves maintaining a position in God until what you are believing God to do starts to manifest in your life. Standing on the word of God. Standing on it. If you, if, if, you, if, if you have not done the word of God, you have not leaped out in faith. You have not said it. You have not thought it. You have not seen it by reading it. You won't be able to stand firm on it. You won't be able to stand firm on it. The five steps that I have said is read it, think it, say it, do it, and stand on it. If God has promised in his word that in his word, he is looking for us to simply believe it with a childlike faith. I would like to encourage us this evening from the book of Joshua chapter 21 verse 45. After all is said and done, this is what Joshua said. Not one word of all the good promises that the Lord had made to the house of Israel had failed. All came to pass. And there is no word written concerning us in this word that you see, that you do, that you act on in faith. None shall fall to the ground all fulfilled if you act out in faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Yes. I'd also like to read to us from the book of Hebrew, chapter 11, verse 6. Hebrew, chapter 11, verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is. And is a what? A rewarder. He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. How do you diligently seek God? It is a life of faith. When you read his word, you think his word, you say his word, you do his word, you stand on his word. And others are blessed by this five that you do. Uh, he is sure to reward. He is sure to reward. And that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And we seek him through his word. We seek him by doing his word. We seek him by saying his word. We seek him by acting on his word. We seek him by standing firm on his word. Or wavering. Praise God. I ask that the Lord gives us the gift of faith to do his word in the name of Jesus. Amen. And he will reward us bountifully in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Yes. And in Ecclesiastes verse 4, chapter 4 rather, verse 9. It says, two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. I would ask you to partner with God. It is anyone who partners with God that gets a reward for his or her toil. I'm calling you today, wherever you're viewing from, to partner with the Most High. You cannot be in partnership with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and not get a reward for your toil. It is not possible. That is my call for you this evening. And I ask that as you partner with the Most High, with all your heart, He will reward you bountifully in this month of reward and beyond in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'd like to read to us again from Deuteronomy 28, verse 1 to 14. Deuteronomy 28, chapter 1 to 14. These are all of the blessings of living in obedience. Living in obedience by faith. 
living in obedience by faith. Remember, it says it is impossible to please God without faith. And what does it say? It is only those that diligently seek him by faith, by obedience, that actually get the reward. See what is in store for you. Now, it shall come to pass, if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God, to observe carefully all his commandments. What are all of his commandments? They are in his word. As you see it, he rewards you. That the Lord your God will set you high above all of the nations of the earth. You will be sought after. And all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you because you obey the voice of the Lord. You have acted in faith. You have leaped out in faith. In faith you obey God. Blessed shall you be in the city. Blessed shall you be in the country. Blessed shall be the fruit of your body. Blessed shall be the fruit of your body, the produce of your ground, the increase of your herds, the increase of your cattle, the offerings of your flock. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Blessed shall you be when you come in. And blessed shall you be when you go out. Seven. The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before your face. They shall come out against you one way, but flee before you seven ways. Hallelujah. The Lord will command the blessings on you in your storehouses and in all to which you set your hand to do. He will bless you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you. Is it in arts? It will bless you. In economy, he will bless you. Is it in politics? That is your land. He will bless you. Is it in fashion? That is your land. He will bless you. Because you have leaped out in faith. Because you have obeyed him in faith. He will bless you. Our lands are different. But the Lord is said to bless everyone who diligently seeks him. Who diligently hearkens to his commandments. Hallelujah. The Lord will establish you as a holy people for himself. Just as he has sworn to you. When the Lord swears, he doesn't go back on his word. We are the ones that go back on our words. We are the ones that are lazy, too lazy to keep our own side of the bargain. If you keep the commandments of the Lord, your God, and walk in his ways, then all the peoples of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord. And they shall be afraid of you. And the Lord will grant you plenty of goods in the fruit of your body and in the increase of your livestock and in the produce of your ground and in the land of which the Lord swore to your fathers to give you. The Lord will open to you his good treasures, the heavens, to give the rain for your, for your land in its season. And to bless all the work of your hands. Not just some. All the works of your hands. You shall lend to many nations. But you will not borrow. And the Lord will make you the head. Not the tail. <laughs> and you shall be above only. And not beneath. If you heed the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you today, and are careful to observe them, so you shall not turn aside from any of the words which I command you this day, to the right or to the left, or go after other gods to serve them. So we can see that all that the Lord requires for us to activate the reward in our lives is just to sit with the word. Think on this word. Say this word. Do this word. And stand on the word. And our reward is sure. I ask this evening that as you partner with God in seeking the Lord in his word, in saying his word, in thinking his word, in doing his word, I ask that he will reward us bountifully in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. I'd like us to open our mouths this evening and pray. My father, my father, my father. My father, my father, my father. Everything hindering me. Everything hindering me. From seeking your word. From seeking 
from doing your word from thinking your word lord remove in the name of the lord jesus we remove we uproot in the name of jesus everything that hinders us so lord from sitting with your word from seeing your word from doing your word from thinking your word jesus we are pretty today we are pretty today we are pretty today. today in the name of the lord jesus help us oh god to continually sit to continually sit and see your word to think your word to do your word to stand on your word in the name of the lord jesus in jesus precious and victorious name we have prayed amen we're going to open our mouths again and begin to say lord let my spirit constantly pant after you let it constantly pant after the word of god that until i eat the word of god i don't want to be okay i will not be okay i want to sit with you i want to be in your presence i want to sit at your feet i want to learn of you because oh lord jesus i know in your presence is fullness of joy in your presence is victory is in your presence is victory in your presence i win oh lord help me to constantly pass after you as the team pass after the waters in the name of the lord jesus in jesus precious name we have prayed amen we're going to pray again that every reward stealing demon Every reward stealing demon in my life, in my life, in my home, in my home, in my businesses, in my business, they catch fire they right catch now fire in right the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Every reward Every stealing reward demon, demon in my life, Every in my home, in my health. Jesus, they catch fire right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, as I seek you diligently, I get my reward in the name of Jesus. In Jesus, precious and victorious name, we have prayed. Amen. We decree this evening that when our reward be given to us, we will not be missing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our lives will not be cut short. Sir. Amen. When our reward is due, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we activate the reward right now in our lives. Sir. Because we begin to see the word. We begin to read the word. We begin to think on the word. We begin to say the word. We begin to do the word. We begin to stand on your word. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every distraction. We put an end to it right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. In our lives, in our, in, our, in our businesses, in our health, everything distracting us from staying in the presence of the Lord to activate our reward. We remove such distractions in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because Thank you are you, God. Thank you, Jesus. We know that you are a rewarder. You are a rewarder of those who diligently seek you, O oh God. You have said that you will reward us. And you are sure to keep your own side of the bargain. Oh, yes. Help us to seek you diligently. Because your word has said, those who seek you diligently will find you, O God. As we seek you, O God, help us to find you and get our rewards in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because you are Thank God. You, Jesus. In Jesus' precious and victorious name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah unto the most high. From our soul, we'll be singing hallelujah. Because that's all that matters. He has done great things for us. He has been our God. He has been our creator. He has been our guide. He has done most of all the things we want in our lives. Say, God, I appreciate you from my heart. I say hallelujah unto your name. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you for being king over my life. Thank you for making me your choice. Thank you for looking past my sins and guilt and still calling me yours. Thank you, Abba. Amen. Sing hallelujah. Oh, my soul, sing hallelujah. 
Oh, my soul will sing. Hallelujah. Oh, my soul will sing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, my, oh my soul. some time in God's presence and I trust that you've been blessed just as I have and so may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ 
the love of God, the very fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercies shall follow us all, all the days of our lives, lives and, and we shall do in the house of the Lord forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Please do not forget to join us same time next week. It can only get better. Also, endeavor to pay your offerings to account numbers displayed on your screen and the Lord will richly bless you. Do not also forget to like and share on all of our social media handles. It is well with you in Jesus' name.